NCT has said his goodbyes and in a Twitter space in a three hour long video he actually revealed his last trading strategy. Now this was a while ago however I have started this YouTube channel and I do want to provide as much value as possible. So within this 10 minute video I'll be sharing with you exactly what that last strategy he revealed on that three hour long Twitter space video. Uh, is going to be and I'll be breaking it down exactly how you can implement this to your trading and I can guarantee you will get funded with this strategy into the strategy side of ICT's last and final strategy that he revealed on Twitter I'll be I've created you guys a checklist so it's much much easier to follow and I'll be I'll, I'll be explaining everything so don't just look at this and pause it and take notes because I haven't actually explained in depth now first things first we're going to be using the four hour order flow so I'll explain this later in the video as well we're going to be using the London Open Kill Zone and the New York Open Kill Zone. So London Open Kill Zone is from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. This is ICT's Kill Zone timing. So this is execution timing only. Now, if you want to toggle your trading view to New York timing, you can do. Just click the, the trading view time zone button on the bottom right and do it to New York. Now, everything I talk about in this video regarding time is going to be related to New York timing. ICT does this exactly as well. So um, just to make it easier, I'll be doing the exact same thing. New York open kill zone, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. We're going to be using premium and discount array zones. So again, I'll be explaining what that is. Now, when we're in premium, we're going to be looking for sales and sales only. When in a discount, we're going to be looking for buyers and buyers only. Now, the sort of step-by-step -step strategy is going to be the four-hour order block. Then we're going to be looking for a five-minute market structure shift inside a premium and discount. And that's exactly how the strategy is actually going to play out. Now, I want you guys to understand this is a very mechanical strategy, very step by step. So it's very, very easy to implement and get funded yourself. Now, um, we do have a free telegram in the bio below, uh, in the description below, where we actually share our trades, our payouts, our next videos. As you can see, my most recent payout was a £7,500 payout. And today we took a long on gold Um broke down why we took the trade um so a lot of free value within the telegram so do join that below now jumping back into the video so first things first you're going to want to delineate your kills on timing now you don't have to trade both or there's not a specific one you can trade maybe what i do recommend is if you take a if you do trade the london session and have a winning trade do not trade the new york session and just take the day off with your profits so we're going to delineate the london open kill zone from 2 a.m to 10 a.m so I'm going to do that right now. Give me a second. So, for example, let's just say that's 2 a.m. And let's say this is 5 a.m., okay? So, price is going to do what it wants prior to your session. You've got nothing. You shouldn't be um, paying too much attention on that. Now, if I just change that to black. Now, so, four-hour order flow. Remember, I said four-hour order flow. So, we're going to be on the four-hour time frame. We're going to notice what the order flow is. Is it buy? Is it bullish? Is it bearish? What is the order flow? So, it's very easy to spot a trend. Obviously, if you're bearish, you're going to have higher highs and higher lows. So, with that being said, if by the time your session comes and four-hour order flow is bullish, all right, you are going to be looking for buyers. Buyers and buyers only within your session, okay? Now, another thing is you are only going to be buying in a level of discount. Now, what is level of discount? So, what you guys want to do is get out your FIB retracement tools. Now, these are the settings that I have on. So, if you guys want to copy that, do go ahead and copy that. This is how you're actually going to identify whether you're on a premium or a discount. So, in a nutshell, what a premium is, so what you will do is you'll draw, um, for, so if you're looking, if you're obviously in a bullish trend, you will draw from the uh, low to the high. Now, premium is going to be above 50%, okay? So let me uh, label that for you guys now. Premium, uh, let me just make that smaller. So premium, and then you're gonna have discount. So above 50% is premium, under 50% is going to be your discount level, okay? So, again, when you're in a bullish trend, you want to be buying in discount areas, okay? Discount areas only. So, essentially, what you want is a retracement back into discount area, and this is where everything starts tying together. Within that level of discount, nine times out of ten, you will find um, some sort of order block, a four-hour order block. When you have that four hour order block, that's exactly what you're going to mark out. So, we're going to be using, say, for example, we've got an order block here. Now, once we've actually marked our order block, we've understood that we're in an area of discount, we understand that we're looking for buyers. When we finally get that retracement, right, 
Now, bearing in mind, you might not get that retracement in your London open kill session, but you've still got the New York one to trade. So always be have your alert set around this sort of discount area. So now that you trade into it, once you trade into it, right, this is this is where your hunt mode starts. This is where you're going to start looking for executions. You're going to drop straight back. You're going to drop uh, straight into the five minute and seek a market structure shift. So like so. So this would be a market structure shift. Now remember, the market structure shift needs to be with displacement. Displacement is very key. What is displacement, guys? Displacement is big energetic five minute candles that are going to be bulldozing that high, breaking that high, creating a new trend. Now this is where we know that a new trend is about to form. Once we get that, um, once we actually get that displacement, we then use our level of discount again on the five minute time frame from the low to the high. And what do we seek under the 50% and the discount? Remember, we're only looking to buy in discount. As soon as we get into discount, nine times out of 10, there's going to be either a FVG or an order block, um, whatever it may be. So for example, we move into that and then that's where our execution will actually take place. So for example, this could be an order block or an FVG. Um, I can color this maybe blue and that's going to be our execution okay so very 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 simple guys very straightforward i'll be showing you guys a live example um using the actual charts now just so you guys can get an understand of it but i hope that does help walking you through but let's take it to the live charts and so jumping straight into a live example now before i do show you guys a live example remember we do have our free telegram in the link below where we share trades this is one of the trades we actually took today on gold longs the reason why we took it we share our payouts um what new content is going to be coming out soon um and etc so do join that it's totally free value so uh, it doesn't hurt to join now jumping straight into the live chart again Remember the four hour order flow. So what is our four hour order flow? We've seen that this is high highs and high lows being created as you can see. So we're looking for buyers and buyers only. Now we need to understand our level of premium and discount. So what's under our level of discount? Like I said, remember we have that four hour order block. Now usually it's the last uh, down close candle before the bullish move. However, if there's two consecutive ones, you can use them, okay? Don't be afraid to mark them both out as the old block as a whole. Now, what we're gonna do is change this to red. So, we've understood uh, our order flow. We've now got our order block in our area of discount, right? Now, what we're gonna be waiting for is simply a tap in on the five minute time frame in our London or New York kill, uh, kill zone session. As you can see, so London missed it. London did not tap in. So we've got the break, so which is the lunch. And then we see this wick away in our New York kill zone. So what do we do? We jump into the five minute time frame. Now let's take it back a few bars. Um, so here we tap in. As soon as we tap into our, our um, order block on the higher time frame, remember we need to seek a market structure shift with displacement. Now, where is the last high? So again, this would be the last high, right? Let's just confirm if it's a high. How do we know if it's a high? because the candle before is lower and the candle after would be lower as well. So, okay, that's not our last high then. So our last high would lay, lie right here. As you can see, the candle before and the candle after is lower. So that's our last significant high. We're gonna mark that out. We're now gonna seek a displacement through. Is this is this a market structure shift with displacement? Is that a big energetic candle through the high? Yes, it is. We've had a full body close. Remember, the key is a full body close. You don't want a wick closed. Full body close, energetic displacement through. Now we've got a displacement. What do we wait for? We get our level of premium and discount out again. And then under our level of discount, what do we have here? We have a small fair value gap and we also have the order block. So you guys can choose whichever one you do want to take. Personally, I like taking the order block over the fair value gaps. So I'm going to mark that out as our order block. Now, all we do is wait for a retracement in. There's our retracement. Now, you can either sit, set a le limit order or uh, manually take this. Whilst watching the charts, um, your stops are going to be just below the low. So give it a bit of breathing room. And then you're going to be targeting the opposing side of liquidity. So all just have a, a fixed uh, risk reward of one to two. It's totally up to you what you guys go for. Um, but then essentially, once you've had the market shot shift with displacement and then identified the level of discount and then got the order block or fair value gap, that is exactly where you're going to enter. And as you can see, 
the trade goes goes and boom take profit here so i could have even gone for a fixed one to two risk to reward ratio or possibly even gone for that one to three um but yeah so again that's going to be the very 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 simple uh, strategy uh ict's goodbye strategy i hope this video did help Remember, do join the Telegram below. The Telegram below is going to be full of value. A lot of our um, actual payouts are shown in here, what trades we're going to be taking, etc.